Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you seven Halloween DIYs perfect for a tear tray. So let's get right into it. First you're going to need one of these wood planks from this pack of six from the Dollar Tree, two towering tumbling blocks, one of the brooms from their broom packs, Mod Podge, and I'm using black and white paint, and I also made a printable on my Cricut for that. You don't have to use the printable. I mean, you can use whatever design you want, but I have a Cricut, so I just thought I'd use it. So first, I'm going to start off painting the plank white, and I'm going to give front and back two good coats. And I'm also going to paint the tower tumbling blocks white. Now, you're not really going to see these, but I like a finished product. So this is going to go on the back to stand it up, so I still wanted it white. Does that make sense? You're still going to see it. Now, we once, once we have given that two good coats, I'm going to go over it with some of my Waverly Chalk Paint and Ink. And we're just going to distress it and make it look old and scary. So once all the paint is dry, we're going to take our printable and we are going to use some transfer tape and transfer it onto the front of the square. And I purchased this transfer tape from Amazon, which I'll leave the link in the description box below. And you just want to make sure it's nice and centered on the front part of the square. Now right here what I'm doing is I'm drawing in an end because I messed it up when I was transferring it so I just used a marker and drew it in. Once we have that done we're going to take one of the brooms and we're just going to glue it off to the side there because this is a broom perky side. Which I know I said I'd leave the link in the description box below to this but I actually made this printable so I still have to figure out how to do the files. As soon as I figure out I'll let you guys know. And we're just going to hot glue it down. And then I'm going to trim off the excess broom down at the bottom because it was still too long for the side to stand. And then you're just going to glue your blocks onto the back and there you have it. Now for our second project, all we're going to do is uh, take this bottle and we're going to make it look like a bottle of poison. So you'll need a printable, which I have arsenic, a spider, and then I'm using white and black chalk paint and some Mod Podge. And now this is a plastic thing that had like bath salts in it. And you can see I left some of the sticky stuff from the label on there, which is what I wanted because it's going to make the black paint look a little more rough. So it's going to age this piece. And then I'm just going to paint the entire thing with two coats of black paint. Now I'm just taking the lid that was on this and I'm going to give it like a rusted look. So I'm just going over the top of it with some of my black paint and then I'm going to go over it with some of the white paint and it's just going to look rusty. Now I'm just going to take my heat gun and I'm going to dry the paint but it's also going to melt some of this plastic and indent it so that it can even look more realistic, more old and aged and like acid is eating away at the plastic. And I'm just going over it with some of this white paint 
Again, we're just aging it and we're making it look as old as we can make it look. Now I'm going to go over the top of this with some Mod Podge because paint has a hard time sticking to plastic and I find using Mod Podge I can often get my transfers to stick better. So I'm taking my Arsenic transfer, which I'll put a link to it in the description box below. I just got it off Cricut Design Space. And I just transfer it onto this plastic bottle. And then we're going to age it. We're going to take some paint and we're going to go over it with some black and some white paint. And once we do that, we're going to stick the lid back on, glue the spider on it, and this project will be complete. And I just love how this turned out. It looks like just the acid's eating away. It looks spooky. And it's perfect size for a tear tray. So for our next project, you're going to need some wooden beads, some of these hats, and wooden cats that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. It's the Color Your Own Ornament packs. And then I'm using black and white again, some jute twine, and then you'll need some tape or an embroidery needle because you're just going to run the jute twine through the beads. I'm just using two different kinds of beads. I'm using 12 of one size and 12 of the other, so you'll need a total of 24. So I'm going to put 12 in one cup, and I'm going to put my black paint, and we're just going to paint the beads real quick. I use this method because I hate painting beads, and it's messy, so I throw them in a cup with a little bit of paint, and you can get 12 of these beads painted within a couple seconds. And then I'm putting 12 of a different size in another cup and we're going to do those in white. Once you have all your beads and paint in the cup, you're just going to shake it up with a paper towel on top. And once you shake it for a few seconds, you're just going to dump them out on the paper towel and dab any excess paint off the beads. And there you have 12 beads painted in about 10 seconds. Once all the beads are painted, now we're just going to paint our witch's hat and our black cat black. And I'm going to give both sides two good coats of paint on each one. I love decorating for Halloween. That's one of my favorite parts about it. Leave me a comment and let me know what your favorite part of Halloween is. Is it the decorations? Is it the trick-or-treaters? Is it all the extra candy? Comment down below. I want to know what everybody else enjoys about Halloween. Now once we have the black cat and the hat painted, we are just going to take some white paint and we're just going to make some outlines on the cat. 
distress it a little so that it stands out a little more because sometimes it can get lost in all the black. I want to take this time to remind everybody to please subscribe to my channel if you like this content. Give me a thumbs up, let me know that you enjoy it, and share it. Let everybody else know that I'm out here, and um, yeah, I would appreciate it. And then there's what we have when we're done. Now I'm just going to take the tape and I'm going to put it in on my jute twine so that I can get it through the bead. Or you can again use an embroidery needle if you like. I just had tape on hand and it's easy to do. We're just going to thread the beads now. I'm going to start off with the bigger black and then we're going to go white and so on. You're just threading bean beads. Once all of our beads are threaded, we're just going to attach the cat and the hat on each end. And you're just going to tie those in a knot. And once you have those both on, this project is complete. I have no idea why I just said that the way I did. Complete? I guess I was trying to sound scary. Anyway, once you put the hat on, tied it, and <laughs> your beaded garland is done and ready for your tear tray. next project you'll need a pumpkin. I'm using one of these felt pumpkins that I purchased from the Dollar Tree. Some black and white paint, some Dollar Tree poster stickers, a couple paint brushes, and we are going to make ourselves a Halloween pumpkin. You're going to start out by removing the felt off the pumpkin and then we're going to paint it white. And this is very easy to remove. It's just glued there at the top. So and you want to keep the felt, I mean, because once you take it off the pumpkin, it's still good felt. So you can use it for another DIY. And like I said, once we have that off, we're going to paint it white. And you're going to have to give this two good coats because it's styrofoam. But I do love the effect once it's painted. Once you have the pumpkin painted, you're going to paint the stem black, or you can paint it any color you want. I just want this to go along with my tear tray. I'm using all black and white for my kitchen this year, so I wanted a black and white tear tray. So I'm just going to paint the stem black, and then I'm going to get the letters and spell out the word EEK. So you're going to need the letter E-E-K. Then you're just going to put those on the side of the pumpkin. the word eek on our pumpkin I'm just going over it with some black paint and we're going to stick the stem back in you're going to hot glue that down as soon as you get it to where you like it and this project's complete and perfect for a tear tray Project, you're going to need some blocks. I'm using these blocks that I purchased from Amazon. I'll put the link in the description box below. I made some printables on my Cricut, a witch, a cat, and a bat, and I'm using some white chalk paint. And we're going to paint each one of these blocks on all sides of the white chalk paint. And I ended up having to give these two coats. 
And what we're doing with these is these are just going to be fillers for our tear tray. It's, I'm just showing you how easy it can be just to come up with some fillers for a tear tray and to make them on your own and not cost very much at all. Now we're just going to transfer the pictures onto each one of these blocks. And then you have three scary blocks for your Halloween tear tray. And they can go anywhere. They're a perfect size to fill up an empty space. For our next project, I'm using a fake apple, some Waverly chalk paint and ink, a scary black fake spider, a paintbrush, and something to cut with. What I'm going to start out doing is I'm going to paint the apple black and I'm going to give it two good coats. the apple painted I'm gonna take my knife and I'm just gonna cut a small square out of the apple so that I can glue the spider into the square to make it look like the spider is coming out of this apple. Now if you don't like a black apple, which I know black apples don't exist, but if you don't like it you can paint it red and make it look rotten or you can leave it green and just go over it with some different color paint and just do you. And then once I have that cut out, I'm actually going to go in with my paintbrush and cover that white foam up with my black paint. And then I'm just going to hot glue the spider in there. And it's going to look like it's coming out of the apple. And that makes this project complete. Okay, for our next project, you're going to need some ribbon. And I'm using a Beware printable that I got off Cricut Design Space. Another one of those wood slats that we got out of that package from the Dollar Tree. Some white chalk paint, some black chalk paint, and some paint brushes. And we're going to start off by painting our wood square with white. And we're going to do both sides and we're going to give it two coats. Once we have our white on there, we're just going to distress it with our black chalk paint and we're just going along the edges and we're getting the front of it. You just want to make it look distressed and old. That's why we distress. Now here I'm just cutting up some ribbon and I'm just going to put the ribbon on the top and bottom of this little plaque. You're just going to cut it to size and you're going to use some hot glue and you're just going to glue it down. And I like to fold my ribbon over whenever I'm doing like a top and bottom of a piece. So that way you can't see any rough edges on that end, if that makes sense. Sometimes when you cut this ribbon in half it frays and it makes it, I don't know, I don't like it. So this is the way I attach my ribbon to anything. There's what we should have once all the ribbon's glued on. And then we're just going to take our printable and we're just going to transfer it onto the front of the square. And once we have that transferred on, we're going to go over with some black and white paint so that's not so shiny. And that makes this piece complete. And that makes all of our projects for our tear tray done. And I think they all turned out so cute. And here we have our Halloween tear tray. I want to wish everybody a happy Halloween. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. 
and click on the link that's popping up right now. So, thanks for watching. Bye.